Okay, this is the grade 11 November 2017 question 9. It's the redox reaction question. It says the reaction between dichromate ions, the CR2072 minus, and iron 2 ions, remember this is your stock notation, gives you the charge on the iron. It's linked to that, 2 plus. Okay, the reaction between dichromate ions and iron 2 ions in an acidic medium is given below. The dichromate ion plus Fe2 plus plus a proton goes to the chromium 3 plus ion plus the ion 3 plus ion plus water. Now it says determine the oxidation number of chromium in the dichromate ion. So in order to do this, this is a polyatomic ion, CrO7 2 minus. The total oxidation number of this is minus 2 because there's a charge on the polyatomic ion. So this minus 2 is going to be two times the oxidation number of the chromium, because there's two chromium atoms, plus seven times the oxidation number on the oxygen, because there are seven oxygen atoms. So we've got negative two equals two times the chromium, plus, not multiply, plus seven times negative two, because nearly all of the time, uh, oxygen, except if it's in the peroxide iron, is negative two. So if we take this over to the other side, 7 times negative 2 is negative 14. I get negative 2 plus 14 equals 2 chromium. So the 2 chromium is going to be equal to positive 12. So the oxidation number on the chromium is going to be 6. So my answer here is positive 6. So basically you just do algebra with the charge on the iron. Then it says to Fine reduction in terms of electron transfer. So remember, whenever we do this, we say oil rig, oxidation is loss, reduction is gain of electrons. Okay. Now it says write down the formula of the substance that undergoes oxidation. Explain the answer in terms of oxidation number. So if we're going to do that, we have to look at everybody in this equation. In this equation, we don't normally worry about the oxygen and the hydrogen because they don't usually change. So we'll look at this chromium here, and we worked out this was plus 6. This iron is plus 2. I'm going to ignore the proton for the moment. This chromium is plus 3 because that's the charge on the iron, and this iron is plus 3 because that's the charge on the iron. So this chromium went from plus 6 to plus 3, and this iron went from plus 2 to plus 3. So if we go from plus 2 to plus 3, this is an increase. And if we go from plus 6 to plus 3, this is a decrease. So in terms of oxidation numbers, in terms of oxidation numbers, oxidation is an increase in oxidation number. Okay, that is how we define oxidation. It's an increase in oxidation number. So which item in this equation increased its oxidation number? It is Fe2+. Fe2 plus went from plus 2 to plus 3. You can see it increased its oxidation number. This is my oxidation reaction. Okay, now it says write down the formula of the oxidizing agent. The oxidizing agent is itself reduced. So what reduced its oxidation number? Technically it's the chromium. Okay, but we are going to write down this whole dichromate ion. It is the chromium inside the dichromate ion that was reduced. Remember, it went from plus 6 to plus 3. So the oxidizing agent is this dichromate ion. Now it says write down the reduction half reaction. So we just walk, worked out um, that the oxidizing agent is what is reduced. So if we want to write down the reduction half reaction, we know that we are going to need this to be in our equation. So you probably won't know this out your head unless you've done an excessive amount of practice. So you go to your table of standard redox potentials 
and you immediately look for a reduction reaction, which is the forward reaction. Okay, remember this is a table of redox potentials. So the reduction reaction is the forward reaction. And you can see here, here is this dichromate ion reaction, which we are going to go back and write on the other side. It's the forward reaction, it is the reduction half reaction. So it's the dichromate ion plus, wait, not 16, it should, it should be 14. I hope you've got your table in front of you and are looking at this on your table. Okay, and we write this with a single arrow because it is only the reduction half reaction. So as a half reaction, it must be the forward reaction from the table. It must be written with the single arrow. Remember, the oxidation reaction is the reverse reaction. Now it says, write down the net balanced ionic equation for the reaction using the ion electron method. So if we do this, we need to write out one reduction reaction, one oxidation reaction, and then from there we are going to make, add them together and make the net reaction by not writing down anything that's on both sides of the equation. So we've already got the first reaction, the reduction reaction. Okay. That does not look like a 14. So this reaction that we just wrote out is our first half reaction, and this is my reduction reaction. And now we're going to look for the oxidation reaction, which is Fe2 plus going to Fe3 plus, which you can actually figure out on your own, but if you can't figure it out on your own, here in the table, here is the reaction. Whoops, let's not do it with that. Here is the reaction here. Okay, remember this table is written as the table of reduction potentials, so we need to reverse this reaction to make it the oxidation reaction. So this is the reaction that we're going to use. Fe2 plus goes to Fe3 plus plus an electron. So we write this underneath here. Fe2 plus goes to, I'm lining up my reaction arrows, Fe3 plus plus an electron. Now in this iron electron method, the whole thing is the electrons must balance. So on the right-hand side, I have one electron. And on the left-hand side, I have six electrons. So I have to make this balance. And the way I do this is by multiplying this equation by six so that the electrons balance. So I will end up with six Fe2 plus going to six Fe3 plus plus six electrons. And now the electrons on the left-hand side cancel with the electrons on the right hand side and I can write my net reaction as CrO7 2 minus plus 14 protons. Remember it said it had to take place in an acidic environment plus 6 Fe2 plus. These are all the things on the left hand side goes to 2 chromium 3 plus plus 6 iron 3 plus plus seven water and we just ignore the electrons because they are not part of the net reaction. The net reaction is just like the final result.